Hello and welcome to a quick tutorial on seamless full-frame video effects in 360 video with NEFX 360 for Adobe After Effects. I'm Stefan and I will show you the basic concepts and how easy it is to simplify your workflow with regular effects. But first let's see what the deal with 360 footage and traditional video effects is. When you have your 360 video footage and you would like to apply a regular 2D video effect, you will likely see this. Noticeable seams at the edges. Well, as you probably know, the footage is sort of wrapped around. And with a perfectly stitched footage, you wouldn't notice where the left and right edges match. They are seamless. But once you apply traditional non-360 aware effects, like the majority of it, the left edge doesn't know about the right edge, resulting in ugly visible seams. This is because most effects manipulate not just a single pixel evenly, but also affects the surrounding ones. And especially with moving pictures, the seams even become more noticeable. So one would think, no problem, many effects have the repeat edge pixels checkbox, like this one. Well, what may work nicely for plain video, it gets rid of the black bar, but still, clicking on the checkbox and the seam is in 360, as you can see here. Tools like Skybox, formerly made by the great people at Metal, which is now included in After Effects, enable you to work within partial areas of the footage in a 360 environment, like graphics, tracking and even partially applying effects. They do also come with some very basic 360 away filters, like Blur and Sharpen. But what if you happen to have one of these cool, unique special filters from Creative Effects Suites by Red Giant Universe, Boris FX or Revision? and want to apply this full frame edge to edge to your 360 footage. Even many included Adobe filters do not play nicely in 360 degrees as you just saw. So, you either end up with seams or spend a good amount of time fixing it manually. Or you have NEFX 360 and you are just one click away. What is NEFX 360? NEFX 360 is an easy to use tool for Adobe After Effects. Integrating into the user interface, that makes it possible to seamlessly use regular effect plugins in After Effects with your 360 footage. It applies special planning techniques and enables the filter to work full frame. It simplifies the workflow and extends the post-production possibilities dramatically. Let's open some 360 footage, which needs to be standard 2 to 1 accurate angular format. Here's some great video produced by the guys from Luxurious Animals. Let's do a pre-compose. And rename layer to without. Now we apply an effect to the 360 composition. Let's take Spiral Blur from BCC for example. Let's apply the effect and let's move the center of the effect and this is how it looks. You see, quite a significant seam. Now open the same footage. Let's pre-compose. And rename layer to Razer NEFX 360. And we go into the NEFX 360 panel, which you see here. You can dock it anywhere you like, it is an UI element which you can arrange with the other palettes within After Effects. Press New FX. And now apply the same effect as you would normally do. Apply Spiral Blur from BCC. And that's it. And the magic just happened. 
we switch to output by pressing the button. And enjoy your seamless effect. And as you can see, same effect, no seam, all around. When you would like to adjust the effects later, you press Edit FX anytime. Don't worry about the image looking squeezed in the 360 player here in the Edit view. When you want to see the final, seamless result, always switch to Output. To combine effects for any particular item, you can easily do so, since they are collected on an adjustment layer. And all effect parameters can be keyframe animated as you would expect in one place, since they just stay regular effects. So let's do this here a little bit in the timeline, putting some keyframes to animate the effect. Ok, let's do a keyframe here. Change the zoom amount and the deviation. And we just go back in time. Zoom differently. And the max deviation. Like this. Go to output. Now to spice up things a little further, let's add another filter from Red Giant to it, the Mojo. Simple color correction plugins usually do not have problems with seams, but some advanced effects use irregular shapes or blurs along with the color changes. So even for color correction filters, any FX360 could make sense, depending on the filter. Usually it's set and forget, but in case you need to tweak settings, there is one dialog for each footage item that you can open, where you can adjust parameters which affect the blending. Usually you do not need to alter these. It basically depends on the effects you use and you can just leave the defaults on. Especially for effects which are unevenly produced, like traditional brushes, it is always a good idea to leave the first setting, Advanced Blending, activated, which is on by default anyway which improves seamless rendering for most filters. To show you the difference, let's choose another great effect by revision, Van Gogh. Let's do another pre-comp. And rename layer to Van Gogh. Go to New FX. And let's apply Revision's Van Gogh filter. There we go. Let's go to Settings. As you can see, the advanced blending is crucial here, to repeat the irregular shapes seamlessly. For an example, when to adjust the pulse settings, let's choose another effect instead, the chromatic glow by Red Giant. Depending on the filter and footage, 
there may be some unwanted artifacts around the poles. Usually they do not get noticed so much, since people tend to look at different angles in 360 footage and not straight down or up. But if you would like to eliminate this with some effects, you can play around with the pole settings. Let's open the settings and we adjust the pole settings. And as you can see, the little dot it is smoothly gone. If you apply effects to different videos, they are all listed here in the panel. And you quickly switch between them. This one, this one, and this one. Go to Output, and you get the picture. To revert and remove the effects from an item, just press the Remove button in the panel. Of course, you can undo all of the actions if needed. Another quick tip. If you would like to open the original source layer and need to do some minor editing or corrections on it, you can do so at any time by shift-clicking on output. Just be careful not to change the characteristics of the source. In an advanced tutorial, I will soon show you how to combine different effects with masks going beyond borders and creating great seamless layered 360 effect compositions. Stay tuned! That's all for now. I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial and you will discover great new creative ways for using seamless effects in 360. If you have any feedback or questions, or would like to share some great work you have done with NAFX 360, we are happy to hear from you. Visit us on Facebook, nefx360.com or AE Scripts and AE Plugins. Thanks for watching 